Hello, gentle viewers. This is Avendian, welcoming you back to another episode of Slay the Spire, where we're going to finish up with the Silent today. Um, no matter what happens, whether we win, whether we lose, whether we draw, we're going to find ourselves a new character next time and see how the other ones play. Let's go Silent Team Silent. Yes, Whale, I'm always here. This is a really powerful... A rare colorless card could be the kind of thing we need to jumpstart our deck. Pulling a skill when we really need it could be the difference between victory and defeat. Alright, we're gonna go boom, 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 boom money bag. I don't need secret technique. In fact, I need it so little, I'm gonna go ahead and discard it. Another defense. I'm gonna take 2 HP of damage, but unless there's been everything on block, there was nothing I could do to stop that. You are now dead. I can just end my turn. This block won't do any good. Just gonna go ahead and set secret technique to the side. I mean, that is a good way to be like, if I don't get a defense, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna discard a defense. Strike one, strike two. You should die next turn, probably. Maybe not. It's probably gonna take three strikes to kill you now. Making all my blocks better is just a key part of this strategy. Okay, what can I do? I play football to start out with, and then defend myself. And then I will neutralize you. I'm really just trying to get to get rid of your armor. Because it's only block one time. I keep thinking it says Louise, not Laos, which is a very different thing to say. Um, Survivor, discard secret technique. Strike, strike. I don't really have a killer skill yet. So secret technique is not currently all that helpful to us. I need to defend myself because you're not attacking. You could still be a jerk though. I wish you weren't. But I'm still gonna kill you. Um Acrobatics. Strike, strike. I'm not gonna play neutralize right now. Three damage and a week isn't worth it if he's not attacking. Is it really? I 
guys think your technique is very easily matched? Let's end the turn. So it improved time to have neutralized, because then I wouldn't have had to waste the second block card, and I could have hit him twice instead. Oh well. Uh, neutralize. Um, I need survivor. And then you can discard this. And then you can discard this, and then I can block, so I take no damage. Um, right. I've got to keep hitting him, or he'll just get stronger and stronger to the point where I can no longer stop it. 4 HP is worth the trade-off. Uh, hit. I need you to pull another strike for me. Thank you very much. You're dead. I wish this didn't exhaust. This would make a much better card. Oh well. Um, actually, Crippling Cloud is a great way to start out. And then I can block. I hate that you can just keep making me frail. kill you this turn and there's no way that I can I'll just end the turn you stupid jerk you ran off with my gold and I'm gonna go to the merchant with no actual money I got a little bit I need a heavy hitter, and I think Bane is the way to do that. I might be able to still afford his sale card. Hey, it's Quick Slash. You know what? I can think of a lot worse cards to add to my deck. I've got to upgrade what I've got if I'm going to do any significant... Okay, this now becomes an amazing super card. If it doesn't exhaust, being able to pull a skill whenever I want it is is just the best. On greatest you jackasses again. Um Footwork. Defend. And Survivor. You can discard that. Because I can use that to pull out Crippling Cloud when I'm ready for it, but I'd like to try to weaken, get rid of their resistances first. Okay. 
14, 21. Oh, I just found out. I just came up with a devious way to still get that to work. That's fine. Defend. Quick slash. Bane's letting you do seven damage. But I'll still take it. Turn, I will re heal. I'll heal four HP. All right, here we go. Uh, give me this, and then please play that twice. There we go. And then defend. All right. Um, and then the poison will kill you. And I get to defend myself and nothing else because of these stupid jerk dazed cards. Alright, acrobatics, please. Um strike and strike again. The biggest problem I have right now is I don't have a consistent way to poison people, which is a shame. Uh, defend, quick slash. And then discard that, I guess. And I'm just gonna have to eat some of this, some of the pain. I hate all the dazed cards. These guys are silly with their ability to just clog my deck with stuff I can't use. Um, right. Thanks, buddy. Which means this is all probably ethereal cards, or they're all attacks. Look, it's a mix. I can kill you. That is not fair. Come on, game. Stop drawing all these stupid dazed cards at once. I mean, oh boy, I got an achievement, but that's not what I wanted. Normal enemy combats no longer encountered in question mark rooms. That's kind of nice, actually. Noxious fumes. There we go. 
or distractions, but I'm gonna take noxious fumes. The only one I'm gonna get to face a second elite and get a second relic is to go up that way. Footwork. Defend. Defend. And then let's hit you. This is kind of a weak deck we've built so far. And the part I like least about it is we don't have a real way to inflict consistent damage. We could do that. That looks good. And let's get you destroyed. Uh, noxious fumes. And so I should kill him. And turn. Quick slash. Weaken. Pain for you. And you die. See how much smoother this goes when we actually have a way to consistently inflict damage? I would need a lot of mana for this card to be worthwhile. It's a good heavy hitter, potentially. But I don't have an engine yet that can take crew advantage of that. Give me something good. Uh, it's even more block. It's not a bad thing. Can I neutralize you to the point where I can eat with a strike instead? No? Okay. That's right, sorry, next turn you start getting two, eight, two poison a turn. Um, I don't really have a way to block you. But I bet I will if I... No, I, I still don't. Well, I guess let's double up on the poison and just eat 12 HP of damage. That's definitely what I want. Um... I'm gonna take good instincts. It's not necessarily what I want, but it's better than eating 12 damage. Um, I can't use this card because there's nothing in my draw pile. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard it. Quick slash. And strike. All right. And you'll die at the end of the turn. So I'm not going to bother to block you. Poison to carry you. Um, slice, please. work. I know it's not the most exciting card, but it's a really good lead-in. I'll end my turn.
And then I need defenses, but I'm going to do a quick slash first. I'll do some more damage, because what that's going to mean is now I can just focus entirely on attacking you. Because you're just going to split into two tiny little slimes now. Oh, after the poison kicks in, too. So, yeah, you're pretty weak now. All I need is two strikes and you're both dead. Strike. Give me acrobatics. I got what I needed, friends. Die. Um, applying poison is really good. Let's do that. It's always this guy. I mean, I guess it's alright. Um... There's his superpower, the one that makes him a pain in the butt to face. I will defend myself. I will stack some more poison on you. Um, only skills trigger that, so then I'll take that. And then you can discard that for now. And I'm just going to hit him again. I mean, I can only take that hit once is the problem. Oh, potion. Thank you. Poison's gonna kill you now. And I've got my happy flower. Terror's nice. Death of a thousand cuts isn't that great. Bane is the place to be. I just get something poisoned, and then Bane is gonna finish him off. And it's pretty exciting. Noxious fumes and crippling clap. And I'm gonna eat five HP of damage because again I didn't pay close enough attention. I'm a little bit careless with my HP. I think part of me is still thinking, oh I'm playing the ironclad, who cares? Uh work. More poison, defense, and slice. Poison won't kill you this turn, but it'll kill you next turn, so I can effectively ignore you. I think poison doesn't go through armor, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, draw three cards for me. And then you can discard secret technique. I don't need it this turn. We're going to see if poison ignores armor. I think it does. Yep. And you'll die the following turn. So watch this. I don't need playing cards this turn. You're dead. Um, another quick slash, I think, is the order of the day.
Let's do this. I could get a sweet relic or something cool here. I have to say no. Because it's random. 14 HP is not worth it. Not when I'm getting ready to fight the boss of this act. Alright. 250 damage. I definitely want you right off the board. And I don't want to waste a turn of weeks, so I'm just going to do this. And this, I guess. No, there's no point in casting a block spell. I don't want to get hit that many times. That's not nice. And I'm gonna eat a fair bit of damage. Alright, this one's not quite so bad. Give me acrobatics, please. You can discard a basic strike. Give me secret technique. I did want to defend, so I got what I wanted. I just want you to have all the poison right now. And here's the really bad part. I didn't get any kind of defense this turn. I think it's all on my pile. Still eat 15 damage from the poison. That's still very much worth it. Discard the base strike, have a poison staff to get even more poison. And then go ahead and discard this defend. And the turn. Because you're going to reshuffle that deck anyway. Discard the basic strike. Let's do acrobatics and just see what it gets me. Is there any specific skill I'm looking for? Actually, five more poison is better than anything else I've got here. Let's just keep stacking on the poison. I'm super dead. Alright, let's think about this mathematically. I would need to hit him for 27 HP in order for us to have a chance. And I'm only going to hit him for 17? Yeah, I'm dead. Because he's going to hit me for 24 damage, and I can't block all of it. No, it is not my true potential. Damn. Well, we've got one more run in her. 
It's gotta be better than that one, right? We were really off to a bad start because we weren't getting enough consistent attack. Let's get a random rare card. Nightmare's not terrible. Um... I can face three elites if I take that path. Let's go ahead and do that. I hope I haven't already done two this episode, but I'm pretty sure I've only done one round. Uh, defend, defend, strike. Without a way to consistently do poison in the earlier rounds last time... Um, I've got to do Survivor first. Nightmare is a good card, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to upgrade it before I'm going to get much out of it. It either needs to be cheaper or it has to be, um, have to have some other benefit. Yeah, I've got to defend myself first. Neutralize. You take some damage. I take none. Strike. I'm just going to end my turn. I should be able to kill you. I will. Um, I don't have a discard engine yet, but I still think it's worthwhile. And I might get one as soon as buying here. Um, a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. It costs zero until it's played. I think I'd rather get Blade Dance and a second Sneaky Strike. I'm glad you liked my haircut. That means a lot to me, buddy. Uh, upgrade. Please upgrade Nightmare. It only costs two mana now. That makes it a much more useful card. I think I'll do one more, and then I'll take that fight, and then go after Luffy. Uh, ooh, no. Upgrade another card for me, please. Let's upgrade Neutralize. Yes, that makes it a much better card because it's two turns of week. Alright. So I'm gonna go... Enemy Elite. Then I think Enemy Enemy Treasure. Because going to the Merchant now, I'm not gonna have any money. And then I can always jump to there before I fight that Elite again. And then I can decide where to go. In any case, I'm going to go this way, because I do want to get a fight in. Try some of these new cards. Like, super neutralize. Do I have a way to discard a card this turn? I don't. Then let's neutralize you. I still have to spend another... Oh, it's going to kill him. It's worth 1 HP. Two energy for 10 HP is still a good value, and it's m even better. I really want to get that exhaustion engine. I had that one game. That was so good. We were just getting, like, all these random super-powered cards, because every time 
That dead branch was just a great card. I don't need the nightmare this time. I appreciate that. Um, a second crippling cloud would be nice, but I want. You know what? I said I wanted a discard engine. The dagger throw is the first part to that. These guys again. This game sure likes to give these to me. Um. Oh. Give me three copies of Neutralize, please. And then I can discard. No, discard a strike. I'll take one HP of damage. I still won't have quite enough. Nope, this is what potions are for. There you go, now I won't take any damage this turn. All right, dagger throw. Yep. Discard dazed. And I instantly gained the two bonus um, energy, which is really nice. Defend. Oh, two strikes would have killed him. That was a stupid use of my resources. Oh, I might have been playing this game too much today. Always get me some blade dance. I'm taking a fair beating from this group. And I like that the copies are persistent. We need a good relic when we defeat these guys. I think our key is going to be getting relics. Um, I don't have a way to force a discard this turn, sadly. So I'm just going to keep eating HP losses. I'm going to have to swing around to that campfire before I do the next elite, I think. I think that's just going to have to be the way it is. Would you quit using Dazed, please? That seems like a very unfair ability. Uh, discard one defend. Then I can dagger throw to kill you. I can discard that strike, and then I can grab myself a lovely defense. And then I can smack you for ten and end the turn. You're gonna get to daze me again, but whatever. I don't have to like it, I just have to live with it. Gonna take one HP of loss. It happens. But you're finally dead. Oh, 
Please be a good relic. Horn Cleat. At the start of my second turn, I gain 14 block. Okay. Tactician is a nice card, but there's also no way to play it. Give me Noxious Fumes. Yeah, I think we go... If I go here, I could end up in a fight. But I kind of want to buy another card or two. I think we will go this way. It's this guy. He is what he is. Give me three blade dances next turn. You'll see how much damage I can do. Ooh, Noxious Fumes and Survivor and Discarded Defend. Can actually do 12 damage versus 10. That's a better use of my my energy. Defend, defend. Okay, you're dead no matter what I do this turn. So let's sneaky strike you. I like the my powers are matched. It's actually quite quite clever. Uh yes, more discards, please. What do you got for me? Um I do like Enlightenment, especially if we can upgrade it. In fact, it's so good upgraded. Thank you, Ancient T7. It's so good upgraded. I'm just going to go right here. I'm not even going to rest. I'm going to upgrade that. Oh, that's what it does. Oh. That's not quite as good, then. Although, I mean, it would permanently reduce them for the entire combat, so I think that's still a better choice. Off we go. Alright. I need... Blade Dance. Dagger throw. Sneaky strike. 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 All out attack. I just reduce him down to half his HP. That's pretty cool. And I've already got all the block I'll need, thanks to my skate thingy here. Horn Cleat.
Everything's already one mana, so I'm just gonna give you some poison. You're dead. 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 Okay, a poison potion is very welcome right now. Give me Catalyst. Ooh, if I upgrade Catalyst, what does it do? It triples the poison. I don't have a consistent enough way to deal poison. Otherwise, upgrading that card would be pretty good. Um, what if I upgrade that? No. I think upgrading is less useful right now than resting. Then I can face this elite coming up here. I'm not using 7 HP to get rid of some stuff. Why does it always have to be you, you jerk? Uh, all out attack. You ended up discarding one of the cards I was going to use, but... Have some poison. Because remember, I'm going to get a potion every time I win, so I want to use it as effectively as possible. Enlightenment. I mean, I don't really want three dagger throws, but I guess I'm stuck with it now. Take some damage, but I'm gonna take a lot of damage, and I, I'm I'm good with that. Um, Attack. Discard that. Play Enlightenment. Sneaky Strike kills you. Eh, it's not terrible. Predator. That is such a good card. Um. Can I make it even better? can make it better. Do it. Proceed. Ah, my old friend, Flobby McFlobberson. Neutralize. Dagger throw. Go ahead and discard this. Definitely get the poison happening. Two more cards, and then I would like to get a power. That's a good one. Better defense. 
No slime crush. Enlightenment. What can I play that will force me to discard? Nothing. I need to do 31 damage this turn. Can I do 31 damage? That's 26. I can make him vulnerable. Alright. Oh, easily. And now I don't have to worry about you. There we go. I did not want to get crushed. That would have been very bad for us. Uh, everything here is already won. Uh, go ahead and copy Enlightenment. I mean, I don't need three copies of the same card normally, but this at least ensures that anything I get throughout the game... I can also just do damage. Because it doesn't exhaust, right? That's five damage for each of you. I'm going to discard a strike. Play another one of you. And then let's hit the assets. I'm gonna lose 4 HP, but that is what we have to do. Alright, this is not great. Get rid of the slime card. And you're both going to split now, thanks to the poison. Is there anything that deals damage to everything? I do, I have all out attack. Let me play Predator first. A not very nice thing to do. Ah, uh, let's kill you. I've more or less got this fight in the bag, I think. I don't think there's a way I can think of that I can actually like here enlightenment enlightenment defend you're dead you're dead act one completed bullet time is a pretty great skill I really like that I would like the Black Star, please. I would like two relics every time I beat an elite. I want one million relics. That's that's how many I consider to be an adequate number. So I can fight two rel I can fight two elites, but here's my issue. I will then completely miss out on the ability to buy cards. Other than that, there's no way to guarantee I fight two. Oh, no, there is. Yeah, I just have to go up this right-hand path here. Cool. Ah, uh, you, man. I've had enough of your shit. Alrighty. 
Um, as long as this doesn't discard Sneak Strike, which of course is exactly what it did. Why did I even say that? We're still gonna have a decent start to the to the hand here, but it's not gonna be perfect. Uh, definitely make everything here cheaper. I'm gonna make three copies of bullet time. Um. It's not really gonna change much, but I just want the ability to just be like, eat five damage because everything is like negative mana. All right, here we go. Oop. Every five cards in my deck, guaranteed heal three HP. That's quite nice, actually. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up this side. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Won't be as many fights necessarily, but I would love a relic. It's the regal pillow. No, I'm not falling for this again. I can't afford to lose that much X HP. Let's upgrade to all strikes and defense. That's just good. And then I can smith something. I can make that even cheaper. Um... A zero cost eight block is pretty damn strong. I mean, I could upgrade one of these noxious fumes. Or I could upgrade bullet time. That's too good. No, reducing the cost of that, that becomes a game changer. If I can play everything in my hand for no mana. All right here. Okay, start with that. And I'm just gonna discard Rive. And then we're gonna get silly. Bullet time. Sneaky strike. Strike. Defend. Defend. All out attack. I 
have to eat 7 HP this turn. I can't do anything to change that. And Venom. And then I'm gonna upgrade that because I think it either makes it cheaper or makes it just easier to cast. Uh, survivor, discard. Sneaky strike. Sneaky strike. Defend. Five HP, but given the possibilities, that's pretty darn good. Can I venom so we can do some get you more consistent poison? No bullet time, that's a shame. Um... That makes everything cost one, but everything here is already one. Noxious fumes, and then I'm gonna do this because it'll give me four block next turn. Also, there's my old pal bullet time. Poison. And you're dead. I said you're dead. Another sneaky strike. I mean, this could get silly if we get the right card combo. A paper crane. Players with weak are even weaker. That's pretty cool. I could really use some healing. Alright, stagger throw. Discard the Rive. Then I do Sneaky Strike. Why am I doing- why is it only doing half damage? Why am I weak? Oh, it's because of your stupid nonsense. There we go. 10 damage. 10 damage. Noxious Fumes. Block. Is 
thing here is already one mana. Take some free block. And just end the turn. I need some bigger cost cards for Enlightenment to actually be a good value for us right now. You're making me suffer. That's not nice. Uh, Blade Dance. Just trying to get all the damage in I can. Discard Nightmare. And now you're stunned. Oh right, I can't draw anymore because of bullet time. Oopsie. That was pretty silly of me. Well, that's gonna hurt a bit. Uh, let's get an all-out attack. And then defend. And strike. I'm gonna lose another 5 HP. But so is he. That's not enough to block all of his damage. And again, I keep forgetting, you have to play Dexterity before you play block cards, or you don't get very much value. I've taken a lot of damage this turn. And I have an entire freaking handful of dazed cards. Thanks, jerk. Well, the poison's actually gonna kill you, so I guess that's something. Ah, uh, flying knee plus, please. I mean, fighting an elite with 17 HP is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but it's for two relics. We need is these guys. Everything is one or bless anyway, so enlightenment does me no good. Um, I really don't care what gets discarded. No, I tell a lie, I do care. I want survivor. And then all out attack. Kill you. And then hit the ground one later. And then the enlightenment doesn't really help because I don't have any cards that are that inexpensive, or expensive rather. Um. I do 20 damage this turn. No, the best I can do is 8 block and 18 damage. Well, there. At least... Oh no, I'm not gonna get hurt. Okay, then I'm actually gonna use this turn to cast in Venom. That's actually a much more useful skill for me at the second. I keep forgetting about my little upside down skate thing. Uh, noxious fumes, good instincts. Uh, 
discard the blade dance and I'll cast another noxious beams. And you're gonna bring in some friends. I didn't get bullet time, sadly. a bit of HP. But only the tiniest bit. Although making them stronger and yourself is not nice. damage. It's gonna hurt, but I'm also gonna get two cards next turn. Alright. Here's the plan. Prepared. Then discard dagger throw. Bullet time. Double your poison. Defend first. I need to make sure I didn't take any more damage. He's dead next turn. We're gonna come out of this one alive, I think. But it's gonna be difficult. And then I'm just gonna end the turn. Because the poison will kill him. I get the boot and the gremlin horn. My old friend out maneuver. Definitely want that. Um, I'm not fucking around. Rest. So I'm gonna right into a fight with another elite as soon as I finish this one. And even this could be a dangerous fight. Um, what can we do? Outmaneuver, definitely to start out with. Flying me. And then Predator. And then Strike. So next turn I should get three more mana and two more cards. And there could be some really good cards in my next hand, like Bullet Time. I didn't get Bullet Time. That's fine. Um, block, 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 die, smack, and then I am basically a tank, I will tank all of your damage. I'm 
I'm gonna injure the one who's not being weakened. This is too vulnerable. I'm gonna save that for an elite or a boss. I don't want to waste it. Ooh, prepared. Uh, discard Nightmare. And then seek Sneaky Strike. Noxious Fumes. Block. All out attack. I'm gonna eat some, some losses here, but... I mean, this isn't the perfect time for bullet time, but I'll take it. Um, okay, I'm not dead, but I'm pretty close to it. I hope I can get another campfire. Um, okay, dagger throw to kill you. I can do 21 damage. Hit and death. I would love another sneaky strike. Escape plan is the only other card I wouldn't mind having. I'm gonna take sneaky strike. I mean, fighting an elite with 15 health isn't the smartest idea I've ever had. Oh god, it's this one. Alright, let's not hyperventilate. Make you vulnerable. Um, let's do a dagger throw. And I'm gonna discard Rive. I'm gonna play Enlightenment. Hit you with Predator. Good instincts and defend. I will take no damage. Ooh, this is a good turn to have bullet time. Do it. Noxious Fiends. Outmaneuver. Nightmare and Venom. Because here is my here is my cunning plan. I'll get to cast this three more times the next turn, and I'm just gonna be piling on poison every time I hit him. And then end the turn. I am going to take four damage. Oh, they don't come in a zero casting cost. Damn it. Well, I guess that's not a huge shock. Uh, please weaken him. Uh, go ahead and discard this in Venom. A sneaky strike would have been good, but that's alright. Alright. Can I kill him this turn, or at least prevent myself from taking any damage? Prevent myself from taking damage, yes. And then I'll do a flying knee, so I'll get a bonus energy next turn. I should be able to finish him off. Actually, the poison will kill him next time. Goodbye. I got a couple of decent potions. That's not terrible. 
Uh, nappy time. And what do I have here? Oh, this fellow again. Okay. Um... It's worth the risk. Okay, didn't discard the sneaky strike, which was brilliant. And let's end the turn. Please discard Catalyst, because nobody even has any poison right now. You deal 10 damage. Now, here's our big problem, though, right? I don't have any way to block him. I'll go ahead and drink that now. Not that it matters. Although that does help a little bit. Alright. Um. Lock. Defend. Defend. Everyone takes a bit of damage. You'll get some poison. Flying knee on the collector. That's gonna be 14, 18, 32 damage. I'm still gonna take 5 HP. But every time they hit me, I hit them back. And now this turn, they're start, gonna start getting poisoned. Uh, play Enlightenment first. Then Bullet Time. Then in Venom. Then Noxious Fumes. I'm gonna take 14 damage, but I can't avoid taking 14 damage. This boss might kill me, but I'm not positive. What did that do? Oh no. You just made me way worse at everything. Do not like. Um... And then go ahead and immediately discard Nightmare. It's not the card I need right now. Alright, the poison is going to kill you next turn. I'm going to take 37 damage. I'm only going to have 13 blocked. This is the end, guys. Damn. Well, so long, Silent. You did your best, and it just wasn't good enough. Uh, next episode, we're going to try out the defect and see how that works for us. We keep getting close, but we still haven't actually managed to beat the Spire on camera yet. The only time I've ever done it I did it off camera. So until next time though, this has been Avendian. Thank you for watching and I bid you 